My name is Mr. Apple Eyes. In this episode, I will be showing you all about virtual machines on Apple Mac. A virtual machine is simply running another operating system alongside the current system. There are various different applications that will allow you to do this, but the ones I will be using will be Parallels Desktop and VirtualBox. The link to download VirtualBox is in the description. There is also an application on every single Apple computer called Bootcamp. This partitions your hard drive, and some people prefer not to do that. The applications I am using in this episode will not partition your drive but let the other operating system run alongside the Mac OS system you are running. Parallels Desktop you will have to buy, but VirtualBox is an open source software available to everyone for free. You must have an operating system saved in an .iso file or you could use a disk with the system on it. I will be using a .iso file with Windows Vista on it. First I will show you Parallels Desktop. Open Parallels Desktop select the new Windows installation. Choose the disk you have inserted or click on the choose image file. Pick a username and enter the serial for your new operating system and click continue. Give the virtual machine a name and click create. When this is finished press start to launch the virtual machine. An alliance will be placed on the desktop for future access and the main file is located in documents, parallels. As for VirtualBox, it is pretty much the same. Open the software and in the top left corner press new. Click next. Enter the name of the system and select from the list what system and version it is. Next select the base size also known as the RAM. Select what hard disk your current system is on and press next. Click next and then choose if you would like a fixed size amount of storage or in dynamically expanding storage. The fixed size lets you have that amount of storage and no more but the expanding storage grows the more files you have. Once you have chosen click next. Select the starting size of your new system. And once again press next. Finally press finish.new. Can now start this virtual machine from the virtual box menu. For the first time opening this you will have to select the source of the new system. Click the folder icon beside the media source text. In the top left corner click the add button. Or the CD should just appear. Press select and then next. Once again press finish. You now know two ways to use virtual machines on the Mac OS. Keep posted on my channel and subscribe.